Now Zapier is a really powerful tool when you're integrating other applications. In this video, I'm going to do a deep dive and show you how I integrated my Kayako help desk system with Slack and did a really rich message. And I'll show you how to do that in Zapier. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here. I'm going to do a deep dive. I talk a lot about using Zapier to integrate other TechSmart Boss applications. And if you listen to our podcast, which I definitely encourage you to do, I talk about using Slack as a central hub of communication for my company. So we're in the midst of migrating our help desk system from Help Scout uh, to uh, Kayako, K-A-Y-A-K-O. And one of the things that Help Scout has a great Slack integration. You know, they give you a very rich set of information that you can integrate into Slack out of the box with the agent name and, you know, a, a hyperlink to the actual ticket, the text of the update to the ticket and the customer information. So I'm going to blur out a lot of this in your video because this is actually my, you know, my real company information here. I don't want to share uh, customer information, but you'll see we have a group here called uh, the support feed and any activity in our help desk kind of comes through here so everybody can be on the same page without having to have the um, help desk always up on our browsers and things like that. Now, in the switch to Kayako, they don't have that as much. So what I'm going to do today is walk you through setting up a Zap in Zapier between Kayako and Slack and kind of replicating that same thing that they have with Help Scout. And I'll show you some pretty cool tips that you can do with Zapier as we go through here. So let's go ahead and make a Zap. So we're going to select as our trigger is going to be Kayako. And I hope I'm saying that right. And we're going to pick their option on a new reply. And the reason I'm going to pick this one, you'll see it also triggers on the first post. So you could definitely do new conversation, but I actually want not just when tickets are opened, but I want when there's activity that's taking place on a ticket. So the new reply covers both of those. So I'm going to go ahead and say new reply. And I've already got my Kayako account mapped out. Let's just test that and see if authentication is successful. And it is. And what it's going to do now is just go out there and fetch you know, one of our existing tickets. And we'll give this a second to go out there and find uh, something to use as a test for our Zap. Okay, we're back. So I went out there and simulated a uh, reply to a ticket. So you'll see test successful. I can actually see what it's going to use. It's going to use one of those tickets that I opened up myself as just a test case. So this is great. Let's go ahead and hit continue. Now, I'm going to go to step two first, but I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how I'm going to add a little step in the middle in a second. I'm going to explain why I'm going to do that. But what we want to do is integrate this with Slack. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out Slack as the action. And we have all of our um, Slack channels as private messages so that we can invite specific team members to those. And, 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 and in this case, I am going to send a private channel message. Let's go ahead and test my authentication to Slack. And you'll see the first thing that's required is the channel. And I'm going to pick that one that we were working with, the support feed. So now I've got my channel in here. Now this is where you can do some really cool things in Slack with the uh, message text. So you'll notice that if I were to click in here, all of the information from Kayako is available as fields that I can insert as dynamic parameters into here. So I'm going to, I'm going to start to make a... A, a message that kind of simulates what we already have in in Help Scout. So I'll say something like a new, if you put a little star there, that'll make it bold. So I'll put a new action has been recorded on a customer ticket. Now we can start to put in some of those dynamic fields. So one thing that we'll want is who is the assignee of this ticket. So let's go ahead and see the assigned agent it's going to go there the other thing that we like to have is a hyperlink to the actual ticket number so if i put this into a bracket here this is how we're going to start a hyperlink in slack and you can click on this formatting help document to learn all these tricks they're really powerful but you'll see that kayako returns the case url that i'll put in there and i'm going to put a pipe and then what I put after this, so this is my URL in the hyperlink. What I put after this pipe 
is going to be the actual text that's displayed and I want to put the actual case number and I'm actually going to put a number sign in front of it so people know that it's the case number so just by doing that that's going to make that clickable so now let's actually put some information about what the ticket is about so I can put the subject line I'll hit enter and let's go ahead and put the actual contents of the message and then we want to have a section for customer so I'm going to bold the customer and then we always like to have the customer name and email so in this case the name is there and then I'll go in here and I'll put the email so just like that I've made a pretty uh, a pretty good uh, record there let's actually go a little further and see what else we could do bot name all these are optional but I really do like to set those up to make a really rich message kinda like that help scout so I'll say that this is coming from Kayako and then this is a really cool thing that you can do in Slack is put a custom icon here and and you know it, you could put a lot of the uh, out of the box emojis but one of the more powerful things I like to do is actually you can do custom emojis so I'm logged now into my Slack I'm on the customized team you'll see here I can create my own Kayako emoji I've already gone out there and saved a, a little file that looks like their logo and I'll go ahead and just save that now you'll see up oh, I picked one that's a little bit too big let's see if I have a smaller one I think I do because I just didn't copy that into the right place there it is let's save that one and now you'll see I've got a custom custom emoji here and this is what it'll look like it looks just like their logo so when I come back over to my zap I can now use my custom emoji you don't have to do that but again the more rich you can make your message in slack the more engaging and informative it is for users so just like that let's go ahead and hit continue and do a little test and let's take a look at what we've got in slack so I'm gonna pop back over to slack and there's our message you'll see our emoji you'll see the bold where I put the bold You'll see the hyperlink here that I can click and go out and all the information that we program. Now there's one thing that's missing here that is really powerful uh, in my opinion. Is you'll see it would be really nice that instead of just putting the name of the person if you actually could have it um, put their slack uh, do a at mention and actually notify them via slack and that's actually what help scout does and that's a feature that we really like. So before I hit finish here I'm actually going to add an extra step and Zapia has a set of actions and I think what we want to use is the formatter that's it and in the utilities you can see you can set up a choose value from list or look up in a table what we're going to do is make a lookup table here and it's going to ask me what do I want to transform I want to do a lookup table and the lookup key is going to be the field from Kayako which is the assigned agent so this is going to have in this case my name David Ferguson and it'll have our other support agents I won't go through and set this up perfectly for everything but I'll just show you the steps so in this case I want to say that every time the that field is David Ferguson I'm going to go ahead and put what my slack handle is at David dash Ferguson and I'll show you if you just add another one I could put another one here like this and in that case Dennis is, is at Dennis.work in our Slack system and I can go through and add all my support agents so it'll actually do a lookup and then I can substitute this in and then there's a fallback option so maybe if there's nothing there if it's a brand new ticket and no one's assigned I want to just make it go out to the channel so these are some Slack specific things that you may not be familiar with at this point um, but once you try these it'll be really great so now let's actually go back now that I've got that let's edit the template for our slack message and instead of putting the assigned agent watch this I'm gonna wipe that out when I go and look at my options here I've also got a utility section where I can replace case assigned agent with that lookup and you'll see it has at David dash Ferguson now and that's some of the really powerful things you can do I'm going to go ahead and continue and let's test that again and take a look and actually let's do let's re, redo our test so now oh, you see that it popped me a message now slack will automatically pop me up a little message when I have a new ticket coming in and when I go in and look you'll see it did a at David Ferguson for me and that's power that's integration that's what you can do when you're using 
modern tools like Kayako and Slack and Help Scout and things like that, and you're using something like Zapier uh, to tie it all together. So hopefully this gave you some ideas. If you do have any questions, definitely uh, leave a comment. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, subscribe to our channel. Check out TechSmart Boss. And if you're interested in more training like this on Zapier, uh, go out to TechSmartBoss.com slash Zapier and join our interest list. Uh, we may just put together a class on this. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.